Welcome back to Project Buddy number 11. So we're still working on just a few things, not a ton, but um, right now I'm going to start working on the little table I sort of showed you before. Um, and we're going to get that all framed in. I don't think I'm going to get it done tonight. It's raining out. But uh, I'm just trying to get a few things together um, so that I can get some measurements for some paneling and for the top, etc. So here we go. So this is the little table up on top. That's a stove that goes outside. But I'm putting in framing underneath here and over here so that I can attach uh, paneling to it. Um, and then I'll put a top on it as well. So I've already put some angle brackets down on these sides. I'm going to do it over here now. This other piece, uh, that's sort of a scrap piece. Um, I don't need to be all the way over, so I'm just going to screw that down with some regular screws. Okay, well we're back at it. And it's Saturday morning and I'm uh, just doing a few different things so you'll see in these corners we didn't have anything to cover it up so I'm putting in some trim molding and on the floor we're using some old bath mats for temporarily to uh, cover up any mud or stuff that gets in. Um, I'm going to try these out today. There's some uh, just circular um, drapery rod hooks. And I'm going to try them up here to see how they fit in as far as putting a, uh, a drape up. That's what it's called. So. Uh, We'll see how all this stuff goes along. I'm just basically drilling some pilot holes through these and then getting the nails started and then nailing them into the sides. So working on that and uh, we'll see how things progress today. Hopefully I can get the rest of this bottom shelf finished up. Well, we got these corner pieces in. See, those look a lot better. These are sort of hidden back there. But I think I'm going to try the um, curtain next. I'm just trying to do some simple things just to see how they work. And we'll see how that works out. So what we're doing here, I've got this we call them crinkle sheets. Um, and this little hook, I don't know if you can see it. So we just are gonna plop that over that area. Um, well, it should plop over that area. And um, got one of them, but I gotta, gotta sort of bend them so that they can slide in there so this will slide and then we'll just uh, attach the sheet to them can't do it one-handed so you'll see once I get it done so here's that I might have to space them a little bit but at least you can sort of move them you got to hold them more up at the top but uh, I'm bend them really good but these are just some sheets that uh, we have tons of. So I'm, uh, I'm going to try to put those up. I don't know if we'll cut them or what we'll do, but I'm just testing it out for right now. Once again, trying to use uh, the type of stuff that we have. Well, there they are. They'll definitely need to be cut and uh, sort of hemmed, but it gives us uh, a little bit of privacy 
Um, and it's just temporary, so hopefully that works. And you can just slide them along. That's worked pretty good. Um, I think my wife just picked them up from Walmart, so we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm putting this piece in over on this corner section. The one thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to match up the lines for the paneling that's on the wall so that um, it matches up. And then I'm gonna make a line at the top of here and along this side so I know how much to cut off. Okay, so we got that piece in. I think it matches up pretty good. Um, it's a little bit of a contrast from the white. And then um, I'm gonna put a board across here um, and I'm gonna attach a door down there. I'm in the middle of process of painting it. Um, and then that will be secured up and um, then we can panel up that and put the door on. I think I wanna put the door on first and then figure out, I'm gonna to have to put some boards this way just as a support against the door. Um, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, have that closed in along with the top. Over here, I'm gonna put some uh, safety pins for right now. So let's see how that looks. Okay, well, that's how that looks just temporarily. Gives a little bit of um, coverage and we could probably just uh, cut it down a little bit, obviously make it the right length and maybe make it into two because uh, I've got plenty of these sheets. So that's at least a temporary fix. Well, one thing I checked out was this. Um, this burner is the only one that's working. So I think we will uh, scrap this idea. We've got other options. So uh, at least I know whether it works or not. I don't think it's really worth trying to uh, rebuild it. So we'll, uh, we'll come up with another way of, uh, of doing cooking out here because we've got a table and stuff and we have grills and things like that. So I think we'll go that route. Well, I sort of changed that up. I changed the direction that it went and was able to pin it up towards more of the top. So I think we'll still need two. Um, but I think that that's turning out okay for some, some uh, drapes or curtains or whatever. Just temporary. Um, like I said, they're just some old sheets. Um, and I think maybe we'll put some back in this area as well over here and obviously across that window so we'll see how it all goes I might try it out on the other window and see how that looks um, sort of starting to drizzle here nice thing that I did notice is that I think I started out and it was about 52 degrees and I had the little space heater on and it actually kept it pretty warm so I'm sort of curious to if I can get like a indoor thermometer and uh, turn the heater on when I know the temperature is going to get down and see um, see how warm it keeps it because I know it used to have a furnace in it at one time. I believe it did. It should have based on the specs I saw. So we'll see, uh, see if maybe just a little space heater works out well. I think in this area over here, I'm going to put a uh, little portable uh, air conditioner on wheels and find a way to vent it out. Maybe I can vent it through the window, or I know I've got a door over there that I can vent it out as well. I just have to cut through the paneling, and I'm trying not to do that when I don't have to. So I just placed the curtain over there. And uh, that works out pretty well. It still has a little bit of gap, um, but um, at least I know that one works as well. So 
that'll sort of keep people from looking in the other sections up against the house. So I think that'll be a good temporary test. Okay, so I got this section done. I'm leaving that open for the door. It'll be at least that wide, uh, probably a little wider actually. Um, so that will be a good little storage area. Now I just need to work on the lid or top. So for this little area where we had some wood, I took some uh, paneling that I had and painted it. So now um, it looks like it matches pretty well, with the exception I got to do some touch-up paint. So I'll do the same over here where I need to uh, put a piece so I just put a piece in and I'll nail it down. So for this hose I just built, bought, not built, bought a little shutoff valve. Um, that way just in case uh, water gets hooked up we can shut it off in here. Um, I just wanted to avoid any potential problems of flooding. So um, pick that, that up on my trip out. Okay, so that's it so far. I'm still waiting on the door to dry. So I think that turned out pretty well. And if we decide to do a sink or something, um, we can just put it right up there and uh, might have to do some some trim work in some areas or will do but i think it's looking pretty good um, i also found when i went to um, one of the big box stores i found some white um, drapery hooks so i'm going to use those in place actually they were cheaper than what my wife bought from the other big box store. So I got 14 instead of seven for the same price. So I'm gonna put those up and try to work on um, putting some more of these, uh, as we call them, the crinkle sheets up. Um, and then I'm going to try um, a little area on the plexiglass um, I think I said in another video, one of my co-workers, dad, su suggested 3-in-1 oil. So I'm going to try an area and see if I can get some of that off. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So we're waiting for paint to dry so I can finish up this part, but I think it looks pretty good. And I've done some finish areas on the others. Okay, well a shout out to John McFarland and Eric McFarland. I just tried the three-in-1 oil on the stuff on the windows and unfortunately it doesn't seem like it's working. So I'll have to rethink that because I don't think I can coat the whole thing enough to break it down. So I'll try something else, but I gave that a try. We'll, we'll see what, uh, what we have to come up with to get that off. Maybe others will have some suggestions, but we'll see. Well, here's what it looks like with all of the drapes or curtains in place. I put two over here so you can open these up like that to let some sunlight in if you want. And got it over the bed. Don't know if we'll use them all, maybe not the ones on the bed, but definitely those. So I think those turned out pretty good and hopefully my paint will be dry soon. I've been going in and putting on a couple coats on the inside and the outside of the door. I'm on the inside right now, so um, hopefully we'll be able to put that on and that part of the project will be finished. So another thing I did today is put up some more leather stripping up there. It's not exactly the same size as what was on there. I'm hoping that it will uh, it will do it. Um, I temporarily put something there, but I don't think that really works very well. So just uh, 
I couldn't find the exact type on the um, company's site that I went on, so I thought I'd give this a try and just get a section of it. And uh, if anything, it's just sticky, so I can just uh, I can just pull it down and put some new stuff in place. So I just thought I'd uh, try to get that part done. Okay, well we've got the door finished, so we got the one section completed. So there's the door. Whoops. And as you can see, it opens up. We got some storage down in there. Oh, and I put a TV in here. So that will be good for when we go and we just want to watch something late at night. Um, I think I'm going to be closing it up today because um, I'm pretty well finished with what I need to get done. Um, got all the drapes in, got the new table area in, maybe a few tweaks with some trim, but uh, for the most part it's functional. So, not that it wasn't functional before, but anyway, so we'll finish out this video and see where we go from here. Um, I know I'll have some things like I got some new rims and tires coming in because I could um, actually uh, get tires and rims for the same price as replacement tires so I just bought those as a whole. Um, I brought in some sleeping bags so if we just randomly just decide to jump out and take a trip we're ready to go so that will be it for this video and uh, there will be more to come with just maybe other projects but uh, hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe leave any comments any suggestions that maybe you'd have for me I'd love to hear them or uh, maybe ideas of hey you ought to do this or whatever so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon Bye-bye.